in the name of Christ I welcome you. God is love and those who abide in love abide in God and God abides in them. The light and peace of Jesus Christ be with you. Good morning and welcome to our service on this, the Thursday after Trinity Sunday, Corpus Christi, a day of thanksgiving for the institution of Holy Communion. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of God's love revealed in word and sacrament, let us call to mind our sins. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing the Gloria.
So let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from St Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. That came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Hail the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread and will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, Unless you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink of his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, I live because of the Father. So whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats his bread will live for ever. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us declare our faith in God as we say together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We pray to Almighty God. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people sat before your table. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we celebrate how we were given by Christ, the body to be our spiritual food, listen as we pray for Christ's body, the church, spread throughout the world. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we recognise the presence of Christ, who takes away the sin of the world. Listen as we pray for that world and for its peoples for whom Christ's blood was shed. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we come together as Christ gathered with his friends to give us this meal of holy fellowship. Listen as we pray for all who you have given us, our friends and all those whose lives are joined with ours. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we remember the night of Christ's agony and trial, listen as we pray for all who share in Christ's sufferings through fear or pain or distress of many kinds. For Margaret, June, Joseph, Harry, 
Baby Lee, Matthew, Helena, Pauline, Bruff, Phil, Robert, Bill and Anne. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we join our praises with the whole company of heaven, listen as we pray for all who have trusted Christ's promise to raise up on this last day those who eat his flesh and drink his blood. Phil, Bubbles, Bernie, Carol, Dave, Derwent and Patricia. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Lord, satisfy our hunger with the food that lasts, the bread of God which comes down from heaven and gives life to your, the world. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Thank you Almighty God for making us in our wonderful world and now we give you thanks because you have revealed the glory of your eternal fellowship, of love with your Son and with the Holy Spirit. Three persons equal in majesty, undivided in splendour, yet one God ever to be worshipped and adored. So with the angels and everyone in heaven we say together, Great and wonderful Father, when we remember when Jesus had supper with the gathered friends the night before dying, Jesus took the bread and thanking you broke it, gave it to those friends and said, take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. After thanking you, Jesus gave it to the friends and said, all of you drink from this cup because this is my blood, the new promise of God's love. Do this every time you drink it to remember me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. 
So loving Father, remembering how dearly Jesus loves us, we should return that love to. Send your Holy Spirit, gentle as a dove, on us and on these gifts. So with everyone who eats and drinks this bread and wine, the body and blood of Jesus, we may be full of your life and goodness. Help us to walk hand in hand and live our lives for Jesus. All honour and glory belong to you, Almighty God, through Jesus with the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. let us pray. All praise to you, Almighty God, for you have fed us with the bread of heaven and quenched our thirst from the true vine. Hear our prayer that, being grafted into Christ, we may grow together in unity and feast in the heavenly kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we sing our post-communion hymn.
good to join with you on this uh, Feast of Corpus Christi, the day for the Thanksgiving of Institution of Holy Communion. Look forward to being with you on Sunday, and it's uh, good to be with you from wherever you are. So may Almighty God, who fed the children with manna in the wilderness, strengthen you in your pilgrimage to the Promised Land. May Jesus Christ, who gave flesh for food and blood for drink, keep you in eternal life and raise you up on the last day. May the Holy Spirit, who leads us all into truth, help you discern the Lord's body and empower you to proclaim his death until he comes. And the blessing of God Almighty, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ.